Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So, as this is the first video for the channel this year, I really wanted it to be something special. And it took a little bit longer than I expected, but it's finally here. Uh, as you can see, right next to me, I have my finished Naboo Royal Palace mock. Those of you that have been around for a little while know that on May the 4th last year, I showed you guys this mock that I had designed of the Naboo Royal Palace and that I was really excited about it and I really wanted to get it done by the end of the year. And so I am super happy to announce that I have, as you can clearly see. So I'm not going to ramble on, let's just get into the close-up so that you guys can take a look at this thing. Okay guys, so here it is. Um, before we take a look at the details on the inside, I wanted to show off a few of the features on the outside. Um, starting off with this entry entryway right here. So as you can see, the entryway is built of these three pillars uh, with three flags. Um, you have two of these sort of angel-like statues up at the front, as, as well as some miniature versions of those up here, which are just like the basic uh, minifigure trophy piece in white. Um, I also really wanted to capture the natural elements of Naboo. As you guys may know, the planet is very well known for its excessive greenery and uh, waterfalls, so I really wanted to incorporate that into this build. So I started off by doing this sort of vine design right here next to the entryway, but then I later on added this small mountain portion under this tower and created a waterfall with some nice greenery around it and a little tree behind it. Um, just to sort of like give it that more uh, natural feel. And then design wise, as you can see, the palace is built up of uh, three main towers, two of them having a complete interior and the third one being uh, for strictly decorative purposes, which is this small one right here. Although it does have a balcony where you can place a figure. I also think it's worth mentioning uh, the design process for this dome was insane. Uh, I was really worried that it wasn't going to work, but I am super proud to say that it works perfectly and it is so sturdy. I really couldn't have expected a better outcome from this entire building process. Alright, so now that we've taken a general look at the outside, uh, let's take a look at the inside. Okay guys, so this is the inside of the palace. We will be taking a look at this room by room, but I wanted to start off by just giving you a global image of what the back of this looks like. As you can see, everything is open, so you can have easy access to the different rooms. So the main areas that we have here are obviously the Queen's Throne Room, a small communications room right here, and the Queen's Chambers up here. Uh, so why don't we start off by taking a quick look at the throne room. So here we are at a close-up of the throne room. Uh, fun fact, the chair and the desk for this um, room were actually based off of the builds that are in the new LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga video game. So that was really interesting. Other than that, the room also has two chairs on either side of the throne for the Queen's handmaids as well as four chairs for other Naboo delegates such as the governor to sit on and discuss you know, current matters that are happening around the planet and in the city. Um, some of you may recognize these uh, little vase builds from the Disney castle. I just thought they were really, really nicely done and would fit in perfectly. You can also see that the throne room has the very large windows that it features in the films right there in the back, as well as the series of pillars, which these pillars actually do sort of function, helping uh, give the domed roof a little bit more stability. I'll get a shot of that in a second so you can kind of see the inner workings of how the dome is built. The room also features a door to the outside, as well as a side entryway to the communications room, which I will show you in a moment. So let's take a look at that roof. Okay guys, so this is what the roof looks like on the inside. I know it looks very intricate and complicated, but I promise you it is not. It was actually um, a bit of a challenge to design, but then once that was figured out, the building process was actually pretty straightforward and it's actually a very very sturdy build all right so before we move on uh just to show you guys how sturdy this roof is as you can see i'm pressing down and the hinges underneath aren't giving in um that is basically because these gray wedge plates right here are sandwiched between these tan plates and then an olive green plate at the bottom and then 
the studs right here are meeting the edges of these wedge plates right here. So they're sort of like auto locking themselves, not allowing the roof to collapse in. And I'm just really, really proud of this design. I was really nervous that it wasn't gonna work, but in the end, as you can see, it does. And I'm just so, so proud of it. So now taking a look at the communications room, uh, you can see right here, the little door that I mentioned earlier that connects to the throne room. Um, the communications room is actually really quite simple. It's just a hologram table with um, two of those tall vases and a statue in the background. I wanted to do a white marble statue because I feel like that's very much the aesthetic of the planet as well. And I just feel like it fits in really nicely. As you can see here on the hologram table, we have a tiny little hologram of Palpatine. Um, ideally, we would have Newt Gunray here to speak with him and sort of discuss their devious plans for the planet. Uh, I sadly don't have that minifigure at the moment, but regardless, the communication room can still be used to contact absolutely anyone. And finally, for the Queen's Chambers. Um, the Queen's Chambers features this really nice balcony with um, some lights and hanging flowers so that she can overlook the waterfalls of Naboo at night. Inside the room, you can see she has a very nice rug in front of her bed, as well as two nightstands with some very, very large lamps. And then, uh, right above the bed, you can see this sort of painting, which is meant to represent a painting of the palace. It's very hard to like get the message across when you're using um, such small pieces. Ideally, this would be a print, but I had to work with what I had on hand. And I think, though abstract, the message does come across. So I'm also very happy with how that looks, as well as the golden frame, I think just gives it the right touch of, um, you know, royalty. So that's about it for the detail in this room. Um, however, I will put the queen in here for you just so you can kind of get an idea as to what the minifig looks inside it. So here we can see the queen minifig in the space. As you can see, there's still plenty of room to fit other minifigs inside. Obviously, her dress piece limits uh, the places where I can position her, but I just think she looks fantastic here and the room goes so well with her. Um, you can really just imagine her looking out of the balcony and overlooking the Naboo scenery. So yeah, that concludes this look at the interior of the palace. So that's it for the close-up of the build. I honestly can't even put into words how proud I am of how this turned out. It really is just amazing. It's, it's better than anything I even dreamed and like putting it together in real life, it's just such a different experience from seeing it digitally on the computer. Because on the computer, you don't really know what's going to work and what's not going to work. You really have to try things out in person. And it really couldn't have gone any better. I'm just so, so happy with it. And I hope you guys like it just as much as I do. And that is it. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and like the mock just as much as I do. It had actually been a really long time since I felt this passionate about a project. And I'm sort of left wanting more. So after giving it some thought, I've decided that this year I'm going to put city building in the background for a little while. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to I'm not going to stop designing things for the city or it's not going to go anywhere, but it will be moved to the Billy bookcases that you see behind me because I'm going to start work on a massive feed mock. Now, I've never done something this size like ever, so this is very much uncharted waters for me, but I am so, so, so excited to see where this takes me and takes us as a community. I'm just really excited for you guys to see what I have planned out. It's gonna be something really, really massive, probably about half of the size of the city that I currently have. So it's gonna be a year long project. Like you can expect maybe weekly, bi-weekly updates on this project. Um, I've already sort of started it, but I don't wanna to give too much away. So stay tuned for that. I'll be taking you guys along the entire process from what area we're gonna design and how it's gonna work and how this mock actually fits in to that even bigger mock that's coming. So I was editing the video when I realized I forgot to mention that there are actually instructions available for this mock in case you wanna build it. I've posted them over on my Rubricable. I will put the link down below. But yeah, I worked on them for quite a bit, so I think they're pretty easy to follow. Uh, I'm actually really happy with how they turned out, so if you feel like this is something you would want in your collection, uh, feel free to check it out. 
Uh, I will also be posting more instructions in the future for some of the other buildings I designed for the bigger Theed mock, so stay tuned for those. And uh, yeah, so that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.